All right, I've been recording this video for the last hour. And usually when I say this at the beginning of the video, I do not do any more takes. So I'm just gonna do this now because I need to go to bed. <laughs> All right, so first things first, shout out to my man, my boy Psych Out, doing his thing. Shout out to Psych Out. Hope everything's going good for you, buddy. And all right, let's roll into it. Got a couple things I want to address in this video. I haven't really done a video of this type in a long time where I'm just kind of letting things out. I'm going to try and keep myself from fucking just ranting and rambling, which is why I've had to do this video so many times. Let's try to get it clear and concise. All right, a couple days ago, I went on Snapchat, posted on my Snapchat story. I said, you know what? Fuck it. I want to go full MGTOW. Fuck women. I'm sick and tired of their shit. I'm done. I'm fucking done with women. All right? And... You know, it wasn't, you know, people are like, you know, what's going on? What's up? What's up? And I want to clarify, it wasn't any particular incident that brought me to this point. Um, and, you know, I don't intend to, I really don't want to fucking be perma MGTOW, all right? I don't want, that's not the route that I would like to go. I've been on kind of this pseudo MGTOW thing where I'm like, okay, I need to, you know, I know I need to get a lot of money and I know I need to do all these things to get a woman. I understand that. But the thing is, is that I cannot ignore... I can focus on myself, and I do, I will. I'm working on my debut project right now, Musical.ly. We got the Easter stream coming today after I do Easter with my folks, have dinner or lunch or whatever we're doing. The Easter stream's gonna come after that. Hopefully it's gonna be a pretty good length on that. Now, I cannot ignore how basically, you know, I could ignore this back in fucking when I was 18, 19 years old, getting fucking false pregnancy shit thrown at me, all this fucked up, horrible things. You know, honestly, I shouldn't have ignored it after my last relationship. Obviously, that was a terrible idea. But I thought that, you know, that can't be, it's got, it's an anomaly, right? And, you know, here I am fucking having to project my fantasies of a woman that is a decent woman onto a fucking butter-making milkmaid from the 18th century cooking video because there are none that I've ever met in my life otherwise. And honestly, that chick is probably not the greatest either if I were to actually meet her. I mean, maybe she is. I'm not going to judge her. But I'm like, why would I go full MGTOW? What's the point? What is even the point? You know what I mean? Obviously, women are not looking, they're not checking for me. So what, what's even the point? You know, it sounds like bitter shit, right? Re rejection shit. I mean, just honestly <laughs> thinking about it, I sat down and just thought about it. And I was like, you know, every woman that has ever gotten close to me in my entire life with absolutely zero exception i mean no exceptions has been lying manipulative deceiving just a whole cocktail of unpleasant things really and i'm not saying okay mate yo i really want to you know when i was when i was thinking about making this earlier i was like really pissed off actually and i was like no it is all women they're fucking you know, every word in the book, I was just fucking like gritting my teeth. I'm like, I'm just, but I don't want to go down that path. I've been down that path, obviously, before. Spending way too much time in the anger. And um, and for all I know, I have, I've heard that foreign women, non-American women, who I don't really have experience with, I heard they're much better than American women. That's what I've heard from Europeans. They say American women, they're the worst in the world. That's just what I've heard. But honestly, I'm like, okay, of course I want to have a family. Of course I want to have a wife, but I have... As far as I'm concerned, if there's a woman in this world who is not a lying, manipulating, deceiving, cheater, et cetera, et cetera, I've never seen one. I don't know. I don't think I have. I honestly don't think I have ever in my entire life. You know, I have to fucking just see random chicks and basically place these thoughts in my head where it's like I'm creating this fantasy about them. Like, you know, no, she's, I mean, she's, she does this thing and she does that thing and she's this and that. So how could she be this? And you know what? Every single time. I mean, <clears throat> I could say what I went through before with my ex, and I can't even really speak on it legally anymore. Um, I was served a, a order. Um, there was harassment going on, I guess, as a result of some things that I said. So I can't even speak. But it wasn't good, all right? It, it ended in a very bad way. It ended badly. And honestly, I don't think at the end of the day, you know, people say, oh, what you went through, it was, it was cruel. I don't even think. I think any woman that I've ever met in my entire life, it would have been the same. Honestly, I honestly do. I think that, you know, it's just, I don't, I don't want to fucking, you know, sound like I'm like fucking waging war against all women, but where? I've never seen one in my life that exhibits any kind of decency, any kind of decent qualities, everything I fuck, I mean, I don't know. It just, it, it, I, it just, it just fucking, I can't ignore that anymore. I keep making excuses. I'm like, well, you know, that they're just rare. These women are rare, you know, but 
when it's so rare that I've never met a decent woman in my entire fucking life, <laughs> you know, um, it, it's difficult, but I mean, you know, it's, this is basically where I'm hanging on right now. This is like, I feel like I want to go full on MGTOW. That's what I want to do. I want to say, fuck women. I'm sick of their shit. You know, they're just all fucking predatory. They are horrible, awful people who are just fucking out to do bad things. I mean, I'm fucking hanging on by this tiny little thread of maybe some woman from fucking Russia or wherever, somewhere in the fucking world that's not America or maybe uh, some kind of like Amish woman or some milkmaid or something. I don't know. It just fucking, you know, I just, it's been hard. You know what I mean? It's been difficult because I've been kind of like, you know, it's like, I don't know. I, it's just fucking, I don't want to believe that. You know what I mean? I don't want to believe that, but it's like fucking hard when I'm, I don't know. But, uh, that's my plan, I guess. You know, people are saying that, uh, they're like, oh, don't you, do you hate women? I don't, I don't hate women, but you know, they, I don't think we're compatible. <laughs> I don't think, no homo. <laughs> I just, I can't, I can't get down with, you know, being treated like shit, you know, and that having that supposed to be cool. I don't know. Just, it's just, I understand, you know, I'm not, if I understand when you're not a billionaire and you're not, you know, and you're not, uh, fucking whatever, you're not the number one human being in the whole world, you know, no woman, you can't expect a woman to ever be decent because no woman will be loyal to anybody, you know, that's less than the absolute best, and uh, anything else is a goddamn lie. But, I don't know. I mean, it, like, it's just, I'm looking at it from kind of just like, a, you know, I feel like I'm not, it's not directly involving me. I'm looking at it from an outside perspective, you know, just, I don't know. But anyways, I need to go to bed, and I'm not doing another fucking video. This didn't probably come out as good as I wanted it to, but um, that's just kind of my thoughts on it. And I need to go to bed and... Easter stream later today. What time is it now? It's almost fucking 3.30 in the morning. Jesus Christ. I don't know what I'm doing with myself. But uh, we'll do probably maybe like 12 hours or so. 12, 13 hours. We'll see. We'll see. I'll, I'll try and inform through Snapchat. Anyways, um, you guys take it easy. I'm fucking MGTOW now. That's where I'm going. You know, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Right, I'll catch you guys later.